thighs. So we're trying Pretty to sure do... taking a lot of money. I know. It's really it's cute. Really we both have it. It's from Target, obviously. Um, we buy everything from Target. But we... The want... lighting's surprisingly good right here because it's... It is good right like, here. It said it's going to start light raining in 10 minutes. Oh, what? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. It said light rain, though. Anyway, we, um, we just got ready to film. So we're going to film a few videos. Um, but we wanted to do a weekend vlog. And we failed at vlogging yesterday because we... Fridays are hard. Fridays are hard. We technically have half days, but that's never true. We always work. Well, not never, but yeah. yeah. Most of the time we work all the mm -hmm. way to like five or six. So we were working yesterday and then we had to run to our storage unit to get more vessels and boxes mm -hmm. for our candles um, before they closed. <laughs> and there was really a lot of traffic because, sorry, I washed my hair today. You know, Me too, take, and it's so frizzy. I'm yeah. like, and I'm like, ooh. Like freshly washed hair is always mm -hmm. really frizzy. Anyway. So we had to go to our storage unit, grab some stuff before they closed, and like with traffic getting over there, coming mm -hmm. back. It was just like late when we got back, and then I'm also working on this project that I've been working on for like a week. I'll show you after we film. Um, so I had to go to Home Depot after that, then came home, we prepped the vessels to pour today, and we mm -hmm. watched, we caught up on shows. Oh we yeah, that's what we did. That's why, like, what was there to vlog? Like, we should have probably vlogged prepping our vessels yeah. for pouring, but we forgot that's about okay. that. We watched um, The Bachelor, which we didn't get to on Monday, and then we watched How I Met Your Father, which is so cute. Yeah, we love that show. And oh, yeah. yeah, and then we just kind of like relaxed and went to bed, and then we woke up today. I read, I finished another book, because oh, it was did. a long one, and it wasn't very good, but I just mm -hmm. need to finish it, so I finished it. And then we woke up this morning and poured some candles of our mm -hmm. new scent that we're shooting next weekend. Um, so if we don't get enough vlog footage, maybe we'll do like two weekends combined, but we'll see. Yeah. Anyway, um, so we're going to film now, and then we have to go to Trader Joe's. I don't know what we're doing the rest of the day, to be honest. So mm -hmm. we'll try to make it exciting and fun. But you guys seem to like, like, day in the life, and every single weekend, every single we Saturday. We can't film in Trader Joe's, right? No, I don't think so. But we can do a haul. That's true. Um, but every Saturday we film, so this is, like, very realistic. Mm -hmm. um, we don't always pour candles, but... I well, well, we try to get like some like TikTok footage of pouring, but we I didn't really get any vlog footage, so sorry about that. Yeah, but if you're interested in that, we can do like a whole video on it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we better get to filming because we also have to FaceTime our mom, mm -hmm. um, which we do every week. It's like well. very it's getting dark. dark, so we better get to it. Um, but we'll talk to you guys later. Okay, so my um, shirt. my shirt is <laughs> still I'm going to change. My shirt is still making a lot of noise. But we just finished filming. Mm -hmm. You feel like I look so shiny. I think it's just this lighting. Yeah, it's the lighting's not super flattering right mm -hmm. now. Um, we called our mom, and we need to go to Trader's on the list. We also well, have to walk the pup. Oh yeah, we should probably do that before oh, we get to Trader's. Okay, I have. To, I can't take my phone off the stand, but I'll okay, change. she's She's literally, literally so cute. She's not feeling the brace today. We don't know yeah. why. So she's just being extra cute. So we need, we're making a recipe tonight. We're going, you guys, oh, we're going we off book. definitely um, vlog that. Yeah. Okay. Duh. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I thought that was like the whole point. For it. It's a weekend vlog. Yeah, weekend vlog. Um, right. Yeah, but I'll just fill you in quickly because mm -hmm. we're go getting the ingredients. But it's a red pepper, like roasted red pepper pasta recipe with burrata on top. But it's like a creamy sauce. Yeah, I'm skeptical just because it's very weird that there was like so many positive reviews, but then did you read them? Because most of them were like, so excited to make this. There was only one person that they actually made it. Yeah, but the it. girl that made it said she made it twice over and if you loved oh, it so much. Well, I'm not, I'm not skeptical because the ingredients sound so good, but I'm just saying it was weird that the reviews were mostly people reviewing. Okay, that's, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. But super excited to check it out um it's not bon appetit or new york times it's like a random recipe i don't know if someone recommended it and i had like saved it to my pinterest board or what but i stumbled upon it somewhere yeah it's one of those that you like blend the sauce in an actual blender mm -hmm. and we never make ones like that um so we thought it would be like you know expand our skill set yeah exactly so we're gonna try that tonight and anytime you get a chance to pull hearts and burrata from a a whole burrata yeah bulb and we then will do put it, it on the pasta it sounds delicious so yeah we're going to run it well first the dogs need to go i'm not going to say too long because mm -hmm. then they'll like start barking but we're going to take the dogs out and then we're going to run to traders get all the ingredients for that we're hoping they have the raspberry mousse cakes back i hope they have so many things we have yet to have the raspberry or the um valentine's gummies yes that's a top of my list i the know the potatoes are back oh my god they are yes 
gosh, we love those. Oh my gosh, we love those. We love those. They were unexpected surprise. They're so good. And then we also the the, the new pastas. A new we, pastas. We get the new pastas. We can use them in the pasta. I did not have new pastas, but the the Japan. I don't know how to say Japachi. Is that how you say it? That like pasta that we loved that was almost like those glass noodles or like soba noodles. I don't know what kind of noodles ever we loved it. It was almost sweet. Oh, that's bad. I don't remember that, but they also I I don't know this why I want these, but the ready to season artichokes, they look really good to me. I that think they'd be good like gross, in a pasta. What? We'll they look good. It. So we got a lot of things on our list. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what they have. have. We'll try to do a haul, but then we're also potentially going to a brewery. Yes. So we need to hustle. Yeah, we, we do need to hustle. We need to get going. I'm actually really hungry. But the brewery has good food looks. Okay, like, so we'll eat if them. we wanted to, yeah. Okay, so we'll get going and we'll try to do a Trader Joe's haul when we get home. Okay, we just got back from Trader's. We got stuff to make dinner tonight. And then the two like seasonal fun items we got were the raspberry mousse cakes. Can't wait to have these. And then our beloved X's and O's gummies. So good. Um, so yeah, we'll, we can review them later if you want, but they're both amazing. Get them both. birthday we just got like one beer and it is nine o'clock <laughs> carly yeah it's nine o'clock peppers oh yeah it's nine o'clock and we're starting our pasta we like you know we like have to skip, stick to a schedule and we have to stick to the schedule and we don't want to do it tomorrow yeah Sorry. Um, so nice like, i don't know hard we like to do hard types of things on saturdays yeah we want to like have leftovers tomorrow. So if we're eating at 11 p.m., 12 yeah, a.m., it's nine, and there's fine. 12 peppers to cut. I've made it through two and a half. We're making creamy red pepper pasta. I'm gonna with, keep cutting the peppers, but it's gonna talk okay, to you. With burrata and herbs, we're really excited about it. I have, we have this onion chopper, by the way. If you don't have this from Amazon, it makes life so much easier. But we have Look shallots, below. a link below. Shallots and garlic in here. Um, and then I'll show you what else we're working with. All right, I'm back. Um, so for cheese, like the burrata, the eight ounce ball of burrata is broken up, goes on top. We got Parmesan, we've got vegetable broth for in it. And obviously you can't have a pasta without heavy cream. That's our motto. Heavy cream in all pasta dishes, it makes a 10 out of 10. And we've got lots of herbs, rosemary and parsley. And we didn't have, it calls for thyme and oregano. Our like Trader Joe's didn't have that, so we got the oregano like in the jar, which is kind of cheating, but whatever. And then we got green onions because we thought that might be a nice addition. So wish us luck. We are going to continue chopping. We have to chop like all this stuff up. I think that's gonna take the longest. And then since it's a red pepper sauce, like you saw, did Car Carly, did you show them your red peppers? No, but I here. Like she's just starting to cut 12 red peppers. Mm -hmm. I don't know why we decided to attempt such a hard dish well, at 9 p.m. on a go Saturday. Our go-to is the spicy broccoli robin. Even that is complicated. It is complicated. All the pasta dishes we make are complicated because to us, we like cooking when it's like a challenge. Like we like a hard pasta recipe, so it's worth it. Like it tastes like it's from a fancy pasta restaurant, and that's what we, we just, want. Honestly, we just like good flavors. We like, like good flavors, and it's not, it's not worth it. A lot of simple recipes can just not have good flavors. Yeah, it's not worth it to us to spend two, three hours on a pasta if it tastes like macaroni and cheese. And we love macaroni and cheese, but we then want we'll it to make taste. macaroni and cheese. Then we'll just make macaroni and cheese. We want it to taste elevated. So that's why, that's the type of dishes we like to cook. Even at 9 p.m. on a Saturday, here we are. I'm gonna pour some wine so that we have something to drink while we continue to cook. We're gonna put on country music. That's our go-to playlist for cooking. And ignore this, our cabinet door fell off <laughs> months ago, months ago. We haven't even, I don't think we've even told our landlords. Oh my God, we haven't. Yeah, so they they're haven't actually even- They're the best landlords. They're the they, best. They would actually- They would fix it. it, we just haven't told them. And we kind of like the open shelvingness because it's coffee mug, so it's like really easy to reach. But now I'm seeing it on camera, like that looks so ridiculous that like we don't have a cabinet door. Anyway, we're gonna get to chopping. We will show you the finished product and hopefully the vlog tomorrow will be better because today it was just a bunch of talking to the camera. 
not really doing that much. And Carly's just completely ignoring you. I I need to chop 12 peppers. She's chopping the peppers. Okay, I will check in in a bit. So, update. I had to change my sweatshirt because I got vegetable stock. She was wearing a bell sleeve while cooking. Yeah, so I not changed it to another cream number. This lighting is really bad. We're it's sorry. Bad. Um, and you can hear the peppers bubbling. And we are going to eat the raspberry, what are they called? Raspberry mousse cakes on camera. I showed you guys them earlier. Terry's here. Oh, Terry's here. Oh my goodness. He's we were so going to wait till after the pasta was done to eat these, but you know. It's 9.41. Yep. Yeah. We, so for fun fact, the Trader Joe's mousse cakes are our favorite dessert item from them. Man, these are so good. Mm. Also, fun fact, I prefer vanilla everything over chocolate. Like, vanilla cake, vanilla anything. But the Trader Joe's chocolate mousse cakes are better than this. They're so good. I don't know if they're better. I, I mean, love these. These are so good, but I love the chocolate ones. Like, the chocolate pumpkin. Look at the layer. So good. Mm-mm. You can hear the peppers. We have a few minutes on the peppers. And then we have to add more garlic and balsamic. Cook it for like five more minutes. Then we add the heavy cream. We remove like the stemmed herbs. We blend the sauce. Then we're good to go. We add it to the pasta, top with burrata. I wish we slept because it's late and I didn't have a second cup of coffee today. Oh, Terry's here. He's so cute. Luna's usually in the kitchen with us. I don't know where she went. Also. Here. Maybe I thought we would go over this tomorrow, but we got Terry's oh, yeah. DNA results back. We got them both embarked the DNA testing since they're both rescues. So both obviously Terry are mixes, but we had no idea. But we did guess Terry's. We did. Can you guys guess? Should we tell them or tomorrow? Mm, let's tell them now. Okay. He is 50% Yorkie. Obby. One of his parents was a Yorkie. He's like 30% Chihuahua. Mm -hmm. His Obviously other parent was a Chihuahua, yeah. And then the rest is Pom. And we knew he had some Pomeranian. I mean, with his haircut, you can really tell. He's a little Pom guy. But both of them definitely have so much Chihuahua, which is so funny because we had one growing up. Mm -hmm. And they're hippie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're not like as common in the Midwest. Yeah, but Chihuahua's got a bad rep, but they're actually like the cutest They're the dogs. silliest. They're mm -hmm. the goofiest guys. Yeah. That's when we were joking. We were like, well, Terry's 100% goof. Mm -hmm. He doesn't look goofy on camera. I feel like he gets camera shy. Yeah, he does. But he's really goofy in person. You guys would love him. Yeah, he's silly. Oh, funny. Hey, you guys. Happy Sunday. Carly's over there. Yeah. Um, we are finishing up the candles that we poured yesterday. So usually we pour them and then we have to let them sit like overnight. And then we trim the wicks, clean up the vessels with some alcohol just to make sure there's like no wax residue. Um, and then we put them in the boxes and let them cure in the boxes for a few weeks. So we're doing that now. Um, and then we have some like more content to shoot today. So we'll take you along. It's probably gonna be a pretty boring day, but oh, and the pasta was so good that we made yesterday. We'll like show you it again. It had the best flavors out of any like pasta we've made yet. Yeah, it had such good flavors, and it wasn't that bad after we like chopped everything. So we will show you that too when we heat it up for lunch because it's so so good. We are taking a photo in the front yard for Diet Instagram. Where is here? I can't see because there are right there. Um, so I'm just, I'll show you the setup. Shooting a photo for diet Instagram outside. This is the setup, <laughs> just paper on paper. And I got the reflector here. Which Luna always helps us when we're shooting something, pouring candles. Luna, Luna. She's always by us. Luna, come here. Yeah cutest girl here's the setup for the photo it is so bright I can barely see okay so I wanted to show you guys the artwork project that I was working on or mentioned yesterday 
So I got this framed piece of art, like a canvas from Target. It's obviously really big. You can see my hand for scale. I'll um, link it down below. I don't think it's available anymore. It might be, but it was basically on clearance for 50% off. So it was $35, which was cheaper than buying even like a normal canvas this size. And I liked that this one already came with like the frame. So I decided to paint it white. <laughs> I've literally done like five to six coats of this white paint and it's like still a little splotchy. So I'm gonna do another coat now. And then my plan is to go like over top with um, like filler, like that plaster, like filler, wall filler. I'm sure you guys have seen on YouTube, but basically you create like patterns and then it dries to a solid. Um, so I'll try to show you as I work on it and how it turns out. Okay, I just got done putting like the plaster or the filler, whatever it's called. It's like the stuff that you put to patch walls, um, but I put that on the canvas. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. I will say this product seemed to dry quicker than I thought it would. Um, I couldn't find like the exact ones that I saw in the videos that I watched. I just got this one at Home Depot, um, but it worked out fine. It just dries fairly quickly. So I'll show you what I did. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Hopefully you can see, I added like really minimal arches, I would say. They're very subtle, um, but I just overall, like hopefully you can see added texture. Um, it's still drying, but here's the close up. You can kind of see better. I did like two big ones in the center, a little one over here. And then a big one over there. Um, so I basically, actually now that I'm looking at it, I'm gonna fix this corner. But I basically, you just put everything out and then you use this little thing to like do the detail work. And it was also, sorry, it's really hard to like hold this and film. It was also pretty difficult to get the edges because like I said, this one came framed, which is what I wanted, but it would be way easier if your canvas didn't have a frame. So I would recommend this project. Overall, it was really affordable and it's better like than what I have in my room right now. So I'm still happy with how it turned out. Um, if this log goes up after it's already like hung up, I think the last step is to wait for this to dry for like 24 hours. And then I have just like a matte spray coat that goes over top um, that I just had, which is nice too. I already had the white paint. I had the setting spray, setting spray, I guess. I don't know if that's the right term. Um, so I really just had to buy like these tools, the canvas, and then the putty stuff. So overall, it was pretty pretty inexpensive and I think it's gonna look good above my bed. So like I said, I'll post a picture um, if this vlog goes up when it's already hung. Otherwise, I'll post it on Instagram stories at some point. Okay, so I actually got two of these and I only needed one. So it's the DAP all-purpose spackling paste interior. It was only like $8 at Home Depot for this big thing. Um, and then I kind of spread it out with this little guy. You know, you've seen these before. You probably own one. I got it on Amazon. I wish I had a bigger size though. So I'll link it below. But if you do this project properly and you have like a big canvas, like I do get a bigger size. Then I also got this on Amazon. It was really cheap. And this is what I used to make like the arches. And this worked out really, really well. Like I said, it was really cheap. Thank you. 